you want to change, but you just can't seem to gather the motivation that you require or even the discipline. And for 99% of people, the reason why they can't gather the discipline or the motivation to start the change is because their situation is comfortable. It's comfortable enough for them to be okay. It's not the best thing, but it certainly isn't the worst thing ever. Like this comfortable situation may just be your financial situation. You may want to make, I don't know, like $500 more. But it's like the amount you're making now is just enough. You can buy the things you need and a few things you want. So you don't really have the motivation to change. You don't have the discipline. You don't have the drive to start that change. Before I tell you how you can change when you're still comfortable, I'm going to tell you about the region beta complex. So I don't know who it was made by. I don't know where it comes from. But essentially, it's this theory that let's say you have to travel a distance of 1K, 1 kilometer, right? You'll probably walk it. But if you have to travel 2 kilometers or let's say 3 kilometers, you will say that either is too long, let me drive it. So the amount of time that it will take you to drive the three kilometers will be less than the amount of time it will take you to walk 1K. So essentially, because your conditions were less desirable, because they were more harsh, you were able to progress at a faster rate. Linking this back to changing when you're too comfortable. That's why you see people who are in the worst situations ever, who are quite literally suffering. They change the quickest. They do the most drastic things and they end up achieving their goals much faster than someone who's actually closer to where they want to be, but they're in a comfortable position. The main thing I want you to take away from this is that in some situations, it's actually better to be in a worse environment because it will push you to change even more. But you probably aren't in the worst environment. You need to change, but you're in a comfortable situation. Things aren't too bad, but they aren't perfect. So the thing you can do right now to motivate yourself to change in your current situation is negative visualization. So you have that one thing that you're trying to change, that one habit that you're trying to stop, or you're trying to just go on a completely different path in your life. What I mean by negative visualizations, I want you to look 10 years in the, into the future, 20 years into the future, maybe it's just a year, two years, whatever. I want you to look an extended amount of time into the future. And I want you to visualize what your life would be like if you carry on on your current path, if you carry on doing the habit that you're trying to stop. You visualize 10 years down the line, on this current path, where you're just making just enough money. Let's say 10 years from now, you have a wife to take care of. You may have children. Now, because you didn't push yourself to change, you don't have that extra income. So now that you have a wife to take care of, and possibly a child, you have nowhere near enough money. Now you'll be scrounging. You won't know where your next meal is going to come from. You have to choose which bill to pay. You have to choose whether to pay for your electricity or to pay for your water. And maybe that's a drastic... Hmm? TJ! TJ! Maybe that's a drastic example. Let's look at you going to the gym. Right now you're skinny fat. Five years down the line, things compound. So you will not look the same. You will look worse because your habits are not good. So those bad habits will compound over time. So five years down the line, you won't be skinny fat. You'll probably just be fat now. When you look in the mirror, you won't be proud of yourself. You'll be ashamed. And let me tell you, shame is the worst feeling to feel. Shame will quite literally break you down until you can't look at yourself in the mirror. And because you're fat, no one will want to be with you. You won't get attraction from women, so you have less women. And now imagine that life where you have no attraction from women, where you can't even look yourself in the mirror because you're not proud of what you see, and where you feel so much disappointment towards your younger self. You would have been wishing that, why didn't I just get into the gym? Why didn't I just allocate an hour every day to going into the gym and allocate a few extra dollars for a healthier diet. You'd be living in a state of regret. But, but, but like right now, right now in this moment, you're skinny fat. So it's really not that bad. You look like the average person. So it's like, it's not ideal, but it's not perfect. So in that future that you're visualizing, I want you to feel the pain that you would feel as if it were happening now. I want you to feel the pain of not having enough, of not being proud of yourself. Feel the pain of just feeling like, you know what, I've wasted my time. I want you to feel that pain, that regret, that discomfort. And all these negative emotions, the energy. So now with that new energy that you have, you need to channel it into those things. You need to channel it into the path that you need to take. Whether it's now getting yourself into the gym, whether it's doing an extra hour of work every day, whether it's reading an extra book a week. You need to start doing it. You need to channel all that energy into that. And I found that you don't have to do this every day. And I've used this technique many times to get me out of rough patches. 
People will say that ah, when you're going through a tough time, you need love, you need compassion. And that is true. Sometimes you just need to look 10 years into the future and see, okay, how would my life be if I carry on on this path? And nine times out of 10, you'll be terrified by that. And that, that terror will force you to just start working. And this isn't going to be a long-term fix. This will get you working for a month, two months. And then by the time you've been working for a month, two months, you have momentum. And now with momentum, it will genuinely be harder to stop than to carry on going. And at that point, you won't need to do negative visualization. You may need to do negative visualization when you jump off the horse and you've been complacent for another month. But once you have momentum, the stuff is easy and fun.